sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with my mind on my money, on my money, on my mind. Mm -mm. I'm so annoying. All right. I really like this shirt because it says sipping on gym and juice. And I thought that was so cute. And it was like $14 at Target. So I mean, like, check it out. Hello, everybody. My name is Kendall, if you didn't already know. And if you didn't know, you should definitely click that subscribe button. That's right down below to enter my fun little family. Because we're all very fun here. And we would love for you guys to join us as well. Okay, so seeing as it is, what day is it? It is July 6th. I figured since in Arizona, we are going back to school very, very soon, it is upon us that I would do kind of a back to school video. I've been out of high school for two years now. I'm gonna be a sophomore in college. I figured what better video to make than one on advice for high schoolers? Cause I went through it. I went through a lot of dumb stuff in high school. So I figured maybe I could help someone out with all my crappy experiences. So I got inspired by watching Jess Conti's video. If you guys don't know her, you should definitely check her out. I'll leave her video down in the description. I love her and Gabe. They're the cutest couple. And I think she makes really good videos. And she sings as well. So she and I could be like best friends. So shout out to you, Jess. But I just thought of some things that I could talk about, which I went through in high school. So I have my phone right here and I will just get on into my advice. So the first thing I wrote down was toxic friendships. And this is something that is bound to happen to you in high school and it's really tough to go through. And it's a really crappy thing to go through, I can tell you that. There's gonna be a lot of people in your life that kinda just use you. <laughs> which is really awful, but they're gonna use you whether you're popular, they're gonna use you whether you have money, you have a car, um, whether you have a pool, whether you have a nice house and they wanna stay in it. Like, it, it, there's a million different things that they could be using you for. And sometimes they don't even realize that they are the toxic friend. And it's really upsetting when they don't know and you just feel it deep down in your core that like, this friendship is not good for me. I can't be in this friendship anymore. And But you don't wanna leave because they're your best friend, which is super duper hard. Basically, I'm gonna start this off like this. I'm a really nice person, not conceited, not in any way. I'm nice. I, forgive way too easy. I let people walk all over me. If I have money, I will spend it on you and I will feel bad if I ever let you pay for anything because that's just how I was raised. Like if I invite you somewhere, I will pay for it. I feel bad if I'm making someone else pay for themselves because I invited them, which sucks because with the friends that I had, I was always the one making plans. So I was always the one paying for it because I would feel bad if I made them pay for it. But I, I'm way too nice, way too forgiving. I'm always wanting to do things for other people. And that brought me down. And it's something that, yes, I have to learn inside myself, but I can't let people use me for who I am. And I can't change who I am. And I can't even tell you guys how many times I forgave my friends for doing terrible, terrible things to me. I was the last choice in a lot of friendships. I was the last person that they would invite. I was the last person they would want to hang out with. I was the last option. And I didn't think of it in that way. I didn't know that I was being used. And you're just like, why doesn't this person like me? Why am I always the one that has to make plans? Why is it me? Why am I feeling like this? Why are they making me feel like this? And you don't realize that it's not your fault. It's not your fault in a toxic friendship. Next one would be dealing with drama. I would much rather get my drama from TV shows, other people, not myself. When you're in drama, it's not fun. I will vouch. Do not take your drama to social media. Don't do it. Don't subtweet, don't at them, don't post about it. Just leave it to between you and whoever you're dealing it with. Don't bring it to social media, don't bring it to a level where everyone knows what you're dealing about. Dealing with? I don't know how to speak today. Don't bring it to social media. That's the last thing you wanna do is bring it to social media because everyone's gonna get into it. It's out there for the whole entire world to see. I don't care if you're private. There are people that can get into your account and and post it. I And people 
who aren't private can screenshot it and post it on theirs. So either way, it's out there for the whole entire world to see. And it's not, it's not what you want. It's not what you want to be remembered as. In the end, just deal with it on whatever level you have to. Like if you have to take it to the principal, take it to the principal. If you want to talk to them face to face, do it. If you just want to laugh it off and forget about it, that's the best thing you can do is to just be like, this person's talking crap about me. Oh well, at least someone's talking about me. So the third topic I want to talk about, the next topic I want to talk about is stupid boys and relationship advice. The first thing I'm gonna mention, which is going to sound awful, and I'm sure this isn't in 100% of all scenarios. If you're a freshman or a sophomore and a senior boy is hitting on you and telling you you're hot and being like, yeah, I wanna hang out with you, don't do it. <laughs> That's the best I can give you, don't do it. I did it, I regret it. I mean, I don't regret it. I learned a lot of things. I had a lot of great friends out of that relationship that I had. There are going to be boys who use you, people in general who use you for a lot of things. And there are gonna be guys that string you along and it's gonna suck and it's gonna break your heart. I went through that my sophomore to junior year, I wanna say, freshman. Pretty much like end of freshman year to junior year was the worst time, like the beginning of junior year. Worst relationships ever. There are gonna be men, boys, ch children, children in your life who are going to treat you like crap. And they're not gonna give two seconds to even think about it, they don't care. All they want out of you is something. They just want something from you that they can't get from someone else. It sucks when you love someone and you think that they love you back, but they don't. All they're doing is using you for something that you're giving them. I let boys walk all over me, I let them use me, I thought they liked me, I thought they loved me, they didn't, it wasn't a thing. Maybe they did, but they definitely didn't treat me like that. Um, I let boys treat me like crap. I did, I let boys call me ugly, I let boys tell me I was fat, and I let it get to me, and I let, I let people walk all over me. And all I did was love them back, and that's not how things go, that's not how things should work. I don't care if he has the coolest car, I don't care if he's the most popular boy in school, if he's using you and making you feel like crap, leave. Don't, don't sit around and don't wait for it to get better. I'm sorry, but it's not the thing that people want to hear. You're in a toxic relationship if they make you feel like crap all the time and you spend your nights crying yourself to sleep or wondering what did I do wrong when you know that you didn't. If you have to ask yourself, what did I do wrong to get treated like this and I don't feel like I deserve it. If you have to question yourself, then you don't deserve to feel like that. And there are gonna be people in relationships that are going to pressure you to do things that you don't wanna do. If you don't wanna do it, say no. If they don't listen to that, get up and leave. The next thing I wanna talk about is something that I definitely can talk about which is not knowing what to do with your life. The topic of not knowing what to do with your life is very important because a lot of people go through this. If you are entering high school or leaving high school or even if you're in college and you don't know what you're doing with your life, you don't know what you wanna do, you're okay. You're just like the rest of us. As I was going into college, I had no idea what I wanted to do anymore. And at this point, I'm a sophomore in college and I'm barely figuring out like maybe I want to go into the nursing field which is so crazy that I'm a sophomore and I still don't know what I want to do but that's okay because I still have so much time in my life to get an education I'm only 19 years old I plan on living for quite a while so I'm fine for now like not knowing what I want to do it's okay there's so much time for you to figure out what you're doing and just because you switch your major in college doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing or that you're a failure. Sorry this has been a long rambly video. I'm not very good at talking to the camera and giving advice. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys have any advice that you guys would like, if 
you have any questions you'd like to ask me and get advice from me, definitely shoot me a DM, leave a comment down below. I would love to help you guys out. I am much better at giving advice when I know the actual scenario and when it is not my own. If you guys have any video recommendations, feel free to leave them down below. I do covers, I do makeup, I do hair, I pretty much will do anything that you guys ask me to do. So let me know. I would love to film videos that you guys specifically want. Um, as always, I upload every Monday and Friday because it is summer break and I have time and I think it's fun. So I love you guys and I will see you all whenever I'm uploading next. Peace out, guys.